Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, we're gonna do a quick unboxing on the new DJI Avatar. But this is gonna be just the drone itself. I didn't buy the uh, combo or anything like that. That is for the people that already have the old FPB controller and the goggles. So we also in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, pair it and see how easy it is to pair it if you have to go through some settings or anything like that or you just turn it on. So let's do a quick unboxing on the new DJI Avatar and let's see what we get inside we just getting the drone itself but let's go ahead and open it up so i have to say this box is a lot smaller than what i used to get in even with the mini this is a the box is smaller than the mini um, so here's the drone itself do you have to say that it's really light um, it does have the camera cover here This camera is better than the uh, FPB, so that's why I got it. The propeller, they're really small, they're hard plastic, they're not like the ones on the Mavic that you find they're like little, they're not like plastic, but they're like really soft, so they're a bit easy. That's pretty good. Uh, it feels pretty solid. Um, honestly, in person, it looks a lot smaller than, than what you see in the pictures and videos, so that's pretty cool. Uh, here's the battery, it's unplugged. I'm assuming that's how you take it off. Yep, the battery is a lot smaller than the uh, DJI FPB. Uh, it feels really light. It feels really light. That's really good. Um, so this should be like a good beginner to FPB. Even with my other FPB, you haven't seen that video. I crashed it. Uh, so if you haven't go see it, go check it out. Uh, you're probably gonna learn something from it. Um, so this is a good uh, beginner drone. And it, it does look more solid than the other one. It looks like it's gonna protect it. I've seen a lot of YouTubers crashing this drone and takes like probably after five beats, after five crash, it does end up breaking, but uh, obviously we're not gonna try to break it. So it's pretty cool. I'm uh, gonna get the mini um, in a few seconds to compare it. Here we got um, two, two extra propellers. I'm assuming one for this side the USB cable to charge it and uh, I guess this is the plot to, to charge the battery yep this is how you charge your battery so that's pretty much that's all you get so let's con turn it on and try to pair it with the goggles so we're gonna connect and link in the drone first with the remote so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna turn it on And then we're gonna turn on the remote and then if I'm not mistaken right now don't forget to take this off uh, if I'm not mistaken right now it's in linking mode so it's like it's pretty much like you, your Bluetooth is searching kind of like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold this the power on button until it makes a beep and now it's looking for it and now you should pair with the DJI avatar well I guess we gotta hold, do the same thing too here hold it until the beeps it beep so we're gonna wait so now it's connected it is that simple so I guess you gotta do it on the on the drone too um, I figured it would be his connected by itself but guess not uh, because I've seen that that light changing color so I was assuming it was searching for it but I guess not so you have to make both both of them be part the same not the same time but you gotta uh, make this for like looking for the device and you gotta make this look for the device so now these two is connected 
So that was really simple and easy. So now what we're gonna do is gonna do goggles. To pair the goggles is really simple too. You have to turn it on. Now this is the old version and you're also gonna need the app. So here I have the new app, uh, the DJI Fly. After you power it on, you're gonna do, all you gotta do is use the Allen wrench I came with the DJI Avatar on this wall. It has a hole in there close to the power button the power cable so what you're gonna do is pretty much press it here once and then you're gonna hit, hit a beep like beep and then what you're gonna do is go in, into the app and you're gonna put, uh, put in connect guy so and since we have to update the goggles first so if you got the old version you have to do that and update it so let's do and go ahead and do that so here it is the newest update so we're gonna do install it um, if you get a message saying that you need to have all the devices connected just press cancel don't put connect because if you put connect it's gonna fail so because obviously I don't have the the other drone here I don't have the FPV I just trying to update the the goggles so I just put that I didn't have to update the controller, so I'm not assuming you don't need it, but you do need to update the goggles to the latest update if you don't have it already. So the goggles have updated now, so maybe uh, now we can do it. Let's connect guide. Let's select DJI avatar. Let's put continue. I'm thinking searching for the latest update on the, if, on the drone itself. So right now it's doing like update checking checking everything so let's see what it does now so now what we got to do is put the drone in search mode like linking so what we're gonna do is the same as the remote we're gonna hold the power button until it beeps so I'm holding and beep let go so it's pairing now it pair it's gonna give you a message saying that uh, you need to connect uh, so we, obviously we're trying to connect to DJI FPB remote control not the motion controller so we're gonna select that one now we gotta hold the remote again Uh, it's linking the remote uh, I think it's better if you do the uh, goggles first because it seems like it throws you back to the remote so do the goggles first then do the uh, remote later so now it's restarting the aircraft so now it says successfully everything be activated so DJI curve fresh uh, we don't want that confirm so now we have access to the DJI drone. Um, I will turn it on, but I'm indoors. Uh, we do another video for that to see how it compares to the um, other one. And here you can see it is paired to the goggles. As you can see, it was a quick couple of steps, but it was really easy. The longest that I took, it was really downloading the updates. Besides that, it was really easy. Here we have the DJI Mini 2. As you can see, folded, it's pretty much Obviously, the mini is gonna be smaller than that, but if you compare it, it's pretty much like when you compare it side to side, it's pretty much the same size. And honestly, once you open it, it's pretty much the same size. So let's open it up. Obviously, the only thing that we can open with this one, but it is a lot easier to pack and carry around than the other FPV. You don't have to buy a cage you can throw in your backpack or you can attach it on your backpack like I always do. And as you can pair it side to side, it's pretty much the same size. Um, I guess you can say it's a little, the mini is a little bit bigger, but not really. Obviously the DJI avatar is gonna weigh a little bit more because of that big battery um, and this doesn't have to be under the certain weight that they always try to make this one only 250 ground grams 
So this one is a little bit uh, smaller, lighter, but the size is pretty much the same. Uh, so you can have a pretty much good idea. Obviously the Mini 3, I think, if I believe, is a little bit bigger. So uh, might be even a little bit bigger the Mini 3 than this. But this is really small and compact, really nice. It does feel durable. Um, it does feel this and it can handle a beating. And this too, it does look a lot easier to fix too than the, uh, the, the DJI FPB, the first one. This looks a lot easier. And because of this sensor, you can fly a little bit in indoors. Obviously, you cannot you don't have sensors going forward, backwards, or anything like that. This is more for landing. This is gonna help you fly indoors and don't stay steady. It's not gonna go to the side or side. If you have it a normal or sport bag, once you get a manual, that shit is off. <laughs> you're gonna crash it. Well, if you don't know what you're doing. And he's showing you the, this is, this drone is really strong too. It, it does feel a little bit more plastic. As you can see, I already have a crack there. So that happened in one of my videos in Mexico. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Uh, so that's what happened. I, I lost control of it because of the wind. It had no GPS in now, so it went, um, I lost control. I couldn't control it and the wind took it. It was at the beach and it, it hit the wall. And I was really surprised that it hit that hard and nothing happened to it, but that little crack, honestly, it didn't have that. It looks like the plastic is cracking over time. But besides that, it does have a like, little bit of scratch marks, but I'm surprised it handled that, <laughs> that big hit. So this, even this is really well made. So this is more like my indoor kind of flight type. But now I'm gonna be using this. I think I'm gonna be using this because it, to be doing indoor maneuvers, I feel like the FPB is a lot easier than this. So I hope this video helped you out. And if you have any more questions about how to link in or any questions about the DJI FPB, the Avatar and the, or the Mini or any kind of question about drone related, uh, I will do my best to help you out. And I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.